Hi everyone, my name is Sarah. And I'm Heidi. We're freshman engineering students in IHMS University, and this is our physics project. These cool patterns you've just seen are because of the different lengths of each pendulum causing different periods of oscillations. We chose these lengths such that each pendulum executes an additional oscillation than the one before it. So if we say that the first pendulum oscillates 51 times in 24 seconds, the one after it will oscillate 52 times in the same time period, and the one after that will oscillate 53 times, and so on. And this is our second project. We've basically moved these two Coca-Cola bottles using nothing but sound waves. How? Well first, we blew softly in the bottle until we heard this deep sound. We then recorded it and uploaded it onto a sound editing software called Audacity to calculate its frequency. This exact frequency is its resonant frequency. We then played the sound and the bottle started moving. Why? When we blew into the bottle, this caused the air inside the bottle to become compressed, increasing its pressure until the energy needed for compression runs out. So the process reverses and the air starts to decompress, forcing the air in the neck to come back out. Until the pressure in the atmosphere becomes greater than that in the neck, so compression happens again. This process can be compared to the oscillations due to mass on the spring. And that's where the speaker comes in. The role of the speaker is to supply a continuous flow of energy to keep the compressions and decompressions going. The frequency of the compressions and decompressions is the resonant frequency that we've calculated. If we play a frequency below that, let's say 50 Hz, as you can see, it barely moves. If we tried it again with a higher frequency, it doesn't move at all. <laughs> 